Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is installation of Windows Admin Center step by step. So in last video we have checked what, what is Windows Admin Center and what we can do all by using Windows Admin Center. So basically Windows Admin Center is a uh, GUI based web based uh, tool which we can use to manage our infrastructure like you can say Windows servers, you can manage uh, all the roles and features, all the product which is installed on your uh, servers and also you can uh, manage like uh, failover clusters from here you can manage Windows 10 uh, desktop machines also from uh, Windows Admin Center so this is very familiar you can use Windows Admin Center to do all your system admin tasks basically which you can which will help you to do the uh, management of your infrastructure from a single console which is Windows Admin Center so let's move to uh, my demo environment so uh, I'm going to use Windows Admin Center in my domain environment so it's always have to uh, good to have a domain infrastructure if you have a uh, li like large production servers or large server you want which you want to manage so uh, we are going to install Windows Admin Center in a domain infrastructure so you can see I'm using my uh, in this video basically I'm uh, going to use only two servers the first one is my domain controller so this is win2k19 okay, dc01 and this machine is having active directory D ds uh, active directory domain services and dns role installed and the ip address of this machine is 192.168.0.151 and you can see here it's having 6 gig, gig of memory and my domain name is victorinfosol.land uh, so let's verify this machine so here you can see this is my Win2K19 DC01 my uh, domain name and this is my uh, IP address of the my domain controller. So you can see here Active Directory and DNS role is installed on this machine. So this is basically my domain controller. You can see Active Directory users in computers. So here is my infrastructure like uh, servers which I have in this domain. I have few users. I have few virtual machines also which is running on a Hyper-V servers and we have few Windows 10 desktop also so we are go and going to install in this video um, Windows Admin Center and later on we are going to add all these infrastructure in my uh, Windows Admin Center and we will try to manage everything from one single console which is Windows Admin Center from here so this is this machine where we are going to install a, um, a admin center so you can see here the machine name is win2k19 ac01 and this is going to be a my windows admin center server and the ip address is 192.168.0.150 and i have 6 gig of memory on this machine and this is going to be joined in my victorinfosol.lan uh, domain so I have not done these these configurations because uh, I want you to do all these things together so we are going to configure our brand new server which is this Win2K19 AC01 uh, you can see this is a brand new machine we have not even configured IP address or domain join so we are going to do it together like configure this machine this way and then we are going to install Windows Admin Center so first thing I'm going to configure IP address on this machine so I'm going to give it IP address 192.168.0.150 and gateway is going to be 0 0.1 and the primary DNS is my domain server active directory server and secondary is my uh, router address to get the intranet so this is good so IP address is configured as given here and now we are good to join this machine in domain so I'm going to rename this machine and join in domain so you can see we got the IP address and now I'm going to click on work group and I'm going to change the name of the server first so AC01 admin console and I'm going to type my domain name victorinfosol.lan and I'm going to type my credential to join this machine in domain so welcome to victorinfosol.lan so we have successfully joined this machine in domain so now we need to reboot this machine to get the changes so I'm going to reboot this machine
So now you have to have one uh, domain account which having basically administrator rights to uh, get the access to all these servers which are here so like these servers so basically you need a domain uh, some type of account uh, to log in on a v, um, basically this admin console uh, admin center to which which account having uh, access to all these admin basically local administrator access to all these servers so I'm going to create a one account here call it like user I'm going to call it AC admin admin console and I'm going to type this name and I'm going to set my password for this account and I'm going to use never uh, expire so this is a normal account for now I'm going to add this uh, user in my domain administrator group domain admins group so this account is now going to get administrator access on each servers because uh, to manage these servers or your infrastructures uh, like desktop VMs or servers you have to get the local administrator rights that's why I have added this account in a domain administrator so automatically it's going to get the administrator access and all all your domain infrastructure machine so this is good and now I'm going to join this machine basically log in on this machine by using this account so AC admin and I'm going to type my credential for this machine I'm going to log in with the victim for sole domain so here we go so we have logged in and now if I right click here and go to computer management just to verify so if you go on local users and group under the local uh, groups you will be f able to find administrators group and you can see domain administrators is a member of this uh, group so this is good so same way we are going to get the domain administrator access on each machines so this is good thing and now on the screen you can see when the in 2019 when it's going to pop up server manager it's going to give you the like try managing server with the windows admin center so this is good and now if I click here it's going to take you to the here uh, windows admin center so this is good and now what I'm going to do I'm going to click here on additional downloads so you can see all, all the things here what is there so now to if you are not be able to find like admin center you can easily go to Google and just type Windows admin center download and it's going to take you to the download page so from here you can see hello windows admin center and you just need to click download so it's going to download your uh, the setup for windows admin center and from here you can see windows admin center is a customer deployed browser based app to manage servers clusters and converge infrastructure and also windows 10 pc you can manage from this and it's have no additional cost so this is totally free which is good and now you can see it's downloaded and the version uh, which we have downloaded is 1809 so I'm going to install this on my machine so this is going to install I accept the license terms click next and if you wish to check for update you can go ahead and check for update so what we are going to use so in uh, use a gateway server for different multiple purposes so or you can install on your machine to manage directly at firm so I'm going to click on next so allow Windows admin center to modify this machine trusted hosts yes it's going to allow and where you want to run if uh, it's going to run on 443 if you have any existing certificate you can use the certificate which is installed on this machine if you don't have you can go with this option also and also redirect HTTP port to traffic to HTTPS so if anyone going to re, uh, open the HTTP port uh, uh, port 80 it's going to redirect to secure uh, site which is HTTPS so this is good click on install and this is very lightweight application it's not going to take more than 
one minute I guess to get the installation done so I think we are almost done so if you go now on a control panel if you go here in program and features you're going to see soon the Windows Admin Center is going to uh, so here in applications so this is good let's wait for some time to get the installation done so now ready to connect so you can see open your bra open this uh, URL in your browser to access admin center so click finish and now if I go in my browser and just type HTTPS colon and my server name win 2k19 AC01 and enter you can see we are directly going to get in in Windows Admin Center so this is good so welcome to Windows Admin Center and you can take the like tour also what you can do with uh, Windows Admin Center and what is the all features so this is good and now I'm going to click on finish and you can see now we got our server here listed uh, on which machine we have just installed the Windows Admin Center so if I go on settings you can see what type of settings you have if you wish to change the language you can change the language and you can also change the format of this machine and you have account details signed, uh, signed in which account you use to sign into this machine and also you have uh, some suggestions like uh, you can always uh, go ahead and disable these things if you don't wish to get these updates and if you go to advanced you can see console level warnings if you want to add anything you can go ahead and add it so we are going to see these all things in later on and also you have gateway extension what you can add here like you can add windows defender preview gateway and you can go ahead and install these all extension to get uh, your uh, windows admin center extended to next level for um, management and you have here uh, Azure also you can register this uh, Windows Admin Center with uh, Azure so you can manage your infrastructure like Azure infrastructure also from this console so you can uh, you can see here Windows Admin uh, registering Windows Admin Center gateway enable you to use Azure services to interact with Windows Admin uh, Center so you can interact with uh, Azure infrastructure also from this uh, Windows Admin Center which is very cool feature and if you go to access you can see what we have all you can uh, enable the uh, enable the accounts here who is going to be what type of permissions so also you will get here the notification window so it's going to notify everything here like if you are doing any task like adding remove if ser removing server or you can doing any task really uh, in windows admin center you are going to get the notifications here like error and warning you can see information everything you can see from here and here a small button is for PowerShell if you wish to uh, like view the PowerShell script for home you can go here and you can see all the PowerShell, uh, PowerShell scripts so which is good and also you can copy the scripts from here so this is my server and if I go ahead and click connect you can see I am connected with my server which is on which we have installed admin center and you can uh, connect using the credential so I'm going to use the Windows account for this connection and I'm going to click on continue so since we have logged in with the this account which is uh, AC admin which is admin console um, user account we are going to get the access so specify the administrator account using this uh, window so I'm going to use uh, my domain account which is you can see a uh, say Victor InfoSoul and going to be AC admin and I'm going to type credential for this and use these credential for all connections so I'm going to click continue and I'm going to save this credential 
So now we are connected with the server WinTook 19 AC01 and we can see all all the status and everything here from Windows Admin Center and this is going to become your first server which you can manage for from Windows Admin Center when you install a Windows Admin Center on any server. So this is all about installing Windows Admin Center on Windows Server. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this video, you can always post them in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.